cacher. I can't even imagine a life without film festivals. They're so tremendously important. Just want to tell my tale. The goal of the festival is really to bring different views on Jewish life around the world um, to a local audience. At the same time, we're showing films that reflect Jewish values, and we're also, I think, building community. If you Happy know. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. This film, What Doesn't Kill You, was inspired by true events. It's a, a tad bit of a departure from true events, but basically I was struck with a catastrophic illness, catastrophic to me, Guillain-Barre, which is extremely rare and causes temporary paralysis. Uh, it was really important for me to kind of turn adversity into something creative, and that's how What Doesn't Kill You came to be. How to Make It to the Promised Land is about a young Jewish girl who has to play a Holocaust role play game at summer camp. Two thirds of you are Polish Jews living in the ghetto. The rest of you are SS guards. This is fucked up. Is it a dark comedy or comedically dark? I'm not quite sure. I think it depends on the viewer. But yeah, it's that. It's that area, that genre. Well, it's about a Romanian, Guamanian Catholic Jew who um, sits Shiva for his dad. He's living in Los Angeles and he doesn't really have a community around him. So he puts an ad on Craigslist looking for people to come sit Shiva with him. And so, you know, it's like Motley Crue shows up and grief and chaos ensue. It's an absurd comedy. Everything was really close to home. Like we actually shot in my apartment. My husband plays the UPS man. <laughs> That's the, my favorite part about going to a festival is meeting everyone and seeing, talking to the other filmmakers about their films and talking to the audience. And so it's, it's awesome, it's really thrilling. I'm super excited to meet my peers. I have never seen any of these films before and I'm sure that they're tremendous. I know it was a super competitive road uh, to get here. I'm so psyched to see the films, meet the filmmakers and I'm really curious and fascinated and just super excited to meet the audience here in Boston. These types of events wouldn't exist without corporate sponsorship and it's great to see that they're promoting artistic expression and uh, young and not so young artists. <laughs> corporate sponsors that uh, appreciate the arts and I'm like forever grateful to those people, those decision makers out there uh, for that. It's interesting to think about the role of film festivals like this in a day when everyone can access most movies online. The difference of watching those films in the film festival and watching them on some streaming platform is that you're watching it with people who are there with the same perspective. So it goes back to forming community. I mean, I really think that what you're doing when you're watching a film in an audience like this is having different kinds of conversations. You're not getting that at home. The first place winner, which is a prize of $1,500, goes to Hannah Janelle for What Doesn't Kill You. I'm really surprised. The films were awesome, so I'm really shocked. Congratulations. <laughs> By showing films by independent filmmakers, we're giving those filmmakers a voice. We're helping tell people that these are valuable films and should be watched, and I want to keep doing that and show more and more of those movies. If you're not careful, you might learn something.